Hi everyone and welcome back to the FIFA 23 Barcelona career mode and welcome to the final episode of the series. It's been a very, very fun career mode uh, here with three games to go in the La Liga season. We are nine points clear, so of course if we even get a point against Girona, we will wrap up the league. Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid are both on 81 points there, so they'll both get top four, but... They won't catch us in the title race as long as we get a point here. We obviously have two more games after that, so we need one more point from three games. It's going to happen. We've been so good this season. We'd be undefeated if it weren't for that loss against Betis, which I've brought up many times in the past, but it really is bugging me. You know, 25 goals against, great defense, 101 goals for. I mean, that speaks for itself in terms of how good our attack is. Um, I haven't really checked out the bottom of the table. Valicano and Girona are both doing very poorly. Um, Valladolid are still in the fight for survival, looking unlikely though. So we are going up against Girona, that team down there in 19th place. So yeah, we could, we, we should do some damage against them and it should be, you know, obviously good to win the, the title and warm up for the big one, which we have after we seal the La Liga title. It's the Champions League final against Paris Saint-Germain, so we will obviously be ending the series by playing that match. Uh, the last episode, we beat, um, where is it, the quarters here, we beat AC Milan 6-4 um, on aggregate, I believe. So that was a really, really good um, two-legged result. And then that 3-1 win at Stamford Bridge led to a 3-2 win at home, a 6-3 win in the semi-finals against them, so obviously another very, very decent result over two legs. So we should um, win La Liga certainly in this episode, and hopefully also get that Champions League title. So my squad is a little bit low on fitness. Only one I'm really worried about is Skriniar, so I'm going to take him out for Jules Kunde who will come in for a start. It's been so good to see Kunde, Araujo and Skriniar all do so well. Uh, fighting for these two starting spots. Uh, I'm really impressed with Araujo because I started off with Kunde and Skriniar who were both so good and Araujo somehow made his way into the team. It was quite incredible. Hopefully at the end of this game, Testegan will be lifting the uh, the trophy. I mean, even if Real and Atletico drop points elsewhere and we still lose today, we could win it. Um, we could lose all our remaining games and still win it because our goal difference is so good. We're also playing at the camp now today. All three of our final games are at home, so we'll definitely be lifting the trophy at home, which is awesome. Come on, guys. Let's get a comfy win today so we don't have to worry about our final two La Liga games and we can rest you lot for that Champions League final. Go on, Son. Great ball from Robertson. Son is in behind here. Oh, that's a great finish. It was a really tough chance, actually. And he's done really well to finish that off. Yeah, good assist from Robertson as well. Son had to leave it quite tight because the defender was closing him down. But he did manage to get it in that bottom corner. Past the keeper. Great start to the game. Head of that. There you go. Go on, Robertson. Bring it away. Andy Robertson, been such a good, impactful signing for us. He's still going here. Look at the run from Robertson. Go back post. Oh, Rafinha stopped his run. All that good work undone from Robertson, unfortunately. De Jong, Ricardo Pereira, Lewandowski, Pedri, what a ball. Son's never missing from there. 2-0 in about 18 minutes. Son with a double. Beautiful stuff. Pedri has got so many assists this season. Him and Son have both been assist machines, I believe. Great play. I just I saw that. As soon as Son started his run, I knew we were going to pick him out. And I knew he was going to finish as soon as that ball fell to him. 2-0. Come on, boys. Here's Pedri. I'm just going to run with this. Oh, Pedri. He's so good. Pedri played in behind. It's a great pass. Son looking for Lewandowski. It's headed away. Only as far as De Jong. Rafinha gets it down for Kessie. Who can pick out the pass here to Pereira. De Jong has picked up an injury. Oh no, that's not good. Lewandowski almost scored. I'm going to take him off immediately, De Jong. I don't want him injured for that game um, against PSG. 
So I'm going to rest him from now till then. I haven't actually checked the top scorers for a while, so I'm not so sure that Lewandowski is quite, you know, up there, up there. I think he's well and truly up at the top. He probably is winning Golden Boot. It's just I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure of it or anything because I haven't checked for so long. Look at that from Robertson. Is Saiz Gunde with the challenge? They still have it though. We've pushed them quite far back, and they've just broken us apart here. It's Saiz just before half time. The ref has done us a mad favour there. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. But thankfully, no penalty has been awarded. And then Saiz almost scored. But we're 2 0 up. I did make a substitution. At half time, I've brought Dest on at right back for Pereira. Pereira was a little bit tired, so yeah, I, I brought on Dest. Go on, Son. He's in behind here. Can he look for Lewandowski? He can, and it's going to be a corner. Rafinha's hustling here on the side of the pitch. He's not letting him through. Look at that from Rafinha. Did not give up the whole time. Gavi has just taken that man Valerie out. Gonzalez and Depay have just come on. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make any other changes, but yeah, you know, we're looking good for the win. At least a point, of course, but I'm definitely going to be putting my money on a win. Hopefully we can even land a goal or two extra. Robertson back to Gonzalez. Into Kessie eventually. Rafinha. It's Serginio Dest, and it's 3-0 Dest with his first goal of the uh, series, and it's a, a very good one. Assisted by Rafinha, 3-0. That's a pretty well game, set, match now. Depay gets up away from his man, and he plays it in behind for Rafinha here. He sees that yard of space. It's a great save by Carlos, in fairness. Let's get the corner in with him now. Rafinha fires it into the box, and the head eyes us. Oh, another good save from Carlos. And that's pretty well the end of the game. We are La Liga champions. We've dominated the league, really. We haven't dropped too many points all season. We look like the Barcelona of old, and we've just assembled such a great side here. And, of course, we were always going to win that league title. Um, they've added some new cutscenes for, for title wins. This is great to see, as if it was in any doubt whatsoever that these boys were going to win the La Liga championship. A 3-0 win against Girona is a really, really good way to, to round out the season and to, to cap off what has been a brilliant title win. And it will be Marc-Andre to Stegen to lift the La Liga championship title. You know, Jordi Alba didn't quite have enough, you know, didn't have what it took to lead these men out, but to Stegen definitely has, and we've been a better side for it. Lift that trophy, mate. 3-0 win on the final day. La Liga title. That's what we've been working for. Good job, lads. But there's one more to go. I might do some playable highlights now. Um, I'm going to be a bit boring, and I'm going to do attack only um, against Mallorca. I don't really like the new feature. I've tried it in, in, in off-camera career modes, and I just... Yeah, I'm not a fan, but... Um, you know, it's, well, it's not a bad feature. It's just a sorry excuse for a new feature. You know, for the last FIFA, I just, yeah, it's very underwhelming, I think. But, you know, it's nothing we're not used to. They've always forgot about career mode and, and not really put a lot of um, effort into it and all that sort of stuff. So it is what it is. Oh, we have a penalty. I don't think I've actually taken one this series. Um, okay. Hopefully we can put this one away. Lewandowski steps up. And it's straight down the middle. Oh no, that's not good. Alright, we have an opportunity here. The positions of my players are very strange. I will say that. And Rafinha has run straight into the defender. Oh god. Here we go, we have a counter-attack now. It's Kessie on the ball. Kessie into Lewandowski. Um, what do I do here? <sighs> Typical De Jong trying to play it around the player. Oh, God. What's this? Son. They've given us a really easy one here. I'd be embarrassed if I don't score this. Rafinha. There we go. 1-0. And surprise, surprise, it's that man again. Rafinha. Mallorca have equalized. 
So it's pretty important we score here. That is onside, and it's apparently not. We've ended the game with a one-all draw. Not a great result, but it doesn't really matter. So Benzema is currently the La Liga top scorer. Um, Lewandowski is second with 24 goals. He's two off Benzema, and equal with Lewandowski is also Moreno. So, so hopefully in this game against Sadiz, I can score a couple goals with him. We have a corner to start off the highlights. I'm going to play it short to Son. Are we going to cross it? No, not yet. We're going to play around with it a bit first. Oh, it's a great play. Son, keep hold of it, and he hasn't kept hold of it, unfortunately. It's Lewandowski through the middle. It would be really embarrassing if he didn't score this, and the game took a big touch. And Sadiz have scored. God, game. Um, okay, yep, they've given us the ball nice and early, and it is with Lewandowski here. Never going to miss. That was too easy. It's going to be Kessie on the ball here. Lewandowski needs to make that run. Rafinha has. Come on, Rafinha. Over the top for Lewandowski, who controls it and misses a sitter. But Kessie is there on the follow-up. Good to see him get a goal for Barca. We have another corner here. I'm going to go long this time. And it's just along the ground. What a waste. God. Another Barcelona counter-attack. Hopefully, it's just a normal touch, which it is. De Jong into Rafinha, who chops inside here. Rafinha into Lewandowski. Lewandowski just holding it up, and I lost it. We'll try and lure someone out here for the short corner. Son back for De Jong, and now we'll cross it to absolutely nobody. We're in with a pretty easy chance here, though, surely. Son. Okay, here we go. Lewandowski for the hat-trick. Come on. Yes, hat-trick for Lewandowski. I was saying I want to get him goals, and that's exactly what we've done today. Yeah, I know. It was only two goals at that point, but don't worry. I'm going to make you eat your words in just a sec. Rafinha is in. Lewandowski and Son are in the middle. Rafinha into Lewandowski. A little bit easy. <clears throat> Rafinha. Here he is. I'm just going to keep running with him here. Can someone make a run back post, potentially? I see Lewandowski again. What a save from the keeper, to be fair. That's unlucky. Of course, it's the Champions League final up next, but that could have been enough to get him golden boot. Lewandowski has done it. He has the golden boot, 27 in 37. It's incredible. The two top scorers in the Champions League, Lewandowski and Neymar, are going head-to-head -head in the final. How about that? Of course, De Jong is not injured for this Champions League final against PSG, thank goodness. And of course, given that this is probably the biggest match in the series by quite a long way, I'm going to do the press conference and I'm going to show you probably most of the match. The highlights will probably be quite, um, you know, lengthy. Um, I'm just going to boost the morale here. I was going to do some huge press conference thing, but I don't know why my manager rating's so low. Actually, if we have a look at my objectives, we might be able to tell why. Uh, brand exposure is critical. Get five wins in cup matches. Oops. Sign three players from North America. Obviously, I didn't do that. That's probably why. Obviously, we won the league title. We didn't win the Copa de España. Um, reached the final of the Champions League. We've done that, and we're about to win it. That's what we're going to do, lads. Actually, screw, screw what the board think. We're going to win the Champions League. Be right back. Oh, God. They've got Mbappe, Messi, Verratti. They've signed Endica, Pau Torres, and Mukiele. That, that's a great back line. It really is with Hakimi and Nuno Mendes. Hang on. They're not starting Neymar. The second top scorer in the Champions League, and they're not starting him? I will take it. I'm not complaining. Maybe they're worried because, you know, he might still have some, some leftover um, remorse for Barcelona or some rubbish. I don't know. Um, we're, we're all here on 100 Fitness. It's looking good. Dembele, I'm sorry, mate. You did really well for us, but Rafinha's simply done better. I will be looking at squad stats at the end of this game. Um, Kunde, Araujo, and Skriniar are all 86 rated, but it's got to be Araujo and Skriniar that get the start. Pereira, of course, at right back. Kessie, so solid for us. Pedri and De Jong, the dream midfield partnership. So well-rounded, both of them, of course. Robert Lewandowski up top. All right, let's beat this Deadwood PSG team. Come on, Barca. I have to win, guys. 
as simple as that. I have to win. This is what the series comes down to. We've won La Liga. That's great. Where the frick is that stadium? Anyway, yeah, like we've won La Liga. All good. But I want that European crown. Come on, boys. Oh, we're wearing our away kit. Didn't even realize that. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. I don't want to be irrational. I don't want to play like a freaking idiot, you know, because I do that some of the time. Okay, a lot of the time I do that, and it's um, it's not a good idea to do that in the Champions League final, as I'm sure all four of you that are watching this video know well and truly, and Lewandowski caught his noggin on that. He almost was in with a chance of scoring there. Let's get it into De Jong here. Um, I was I was kind of thinking of lining up a shot, but I'm kind of glad I didn't end up going with that option. And Son's just done a rainbow flick. I did not mean to do that. He's done well, though. Pereira, it's over to Pau Torres, unfortunately. Can we win it back again? Yes, we can. I'm enjoying this possession that we're having. We need to do something with it, though. Son, overlap from Robertson. Just hit this. Oh, my God, it's hit the bar. You are kidding me. Oh, we've given Oyarzabal the ball here. That's frustrating. Damn it. That's so unlucky from Andy Robertson. And now they're in. Verratti is coming forward up against Araujo. Only ever going to be one winner. Oh, God. And Bappe's running here. Here's Messi. <laughs> they haven't had a sniff yet, but all they need is one chance. Messi, good save. I don't want him scoring against his old club. That would be uh, a written in the stars fairy tale. They're going short. Oh, no, they're not. Sorry. I stand mistaken. Just get it out of here, Pedri. Oh, my God. I pressed X. That is not X, bro. Whatsoever. Go on, Rafinha. Could be in here. And Rafinha is in. Great stuff from Rafinha. De Jong over the top to Pedri. Rafinha does well, gets it into Lewandowski. He's tried some juggling stuff. Lewandowski, 1 0. Incredible from Lewandowski. Couple minutes out from half time, seven to be approximate. I was doing some juggling stuff with him that I'll be honest, I didn't mean to do, but I composed myself. I took it around. The defender gave me way too much time on the ball, and he just picks out the bottom corner. Beautiful goal. 1-0. Oh, go on, Pedri. Pedri looking to get it in behind. It was unlucky. How good would it be if Rafinha got a goal today? It would be incredible. Look at Araujo. Just have a whack, son. Oh. Oh, oh my days. I, I don't believe that that almost went in. It's half time, thank goodness. 1-0 up at the break. Araujo almost just scored the most amazing goal ever. I am considering giving Usman Dembele a go in the second half. Thanks for that. Um, I think it's only fair. He did really, really good for us in, um, in the first part of the season. And whilst Rafinha has obviously been so much better than he ever was, I think, you know, we kind of owe it to him because of how good he really was for us. You know, he wasn't, like, crazy good, but he, he did a job. He was really good. So, you know, I wouldn't mind giving him a go. Pedri into Son. We've worked it well here. Pedri's done well. Kessie into Lewandowski. Oh, I've lost it. I'm playing stupid. Come on, let's shut Neymar down, who they've just brought on. Mbappe. Turn Milan Skriniar. But Skriniar has done really well to shut him down there. Robertson looking in behind for Son. Scored my FIFA 20 Tottenham career mode Champions League final goal way back when. Oh, we almost scored there. We have a corner here. I've brought Depay on for Lewandowski. Thank you for the goal, Robert. And I've brought um, Araujo, uh, not Araujo, I've brought Kunde on at right back rather than centre back. Um, the other two centre backs are just playing so well at the moment that I can't really take them out. And Pereira's been fine, but yeah, I wanted to give Kunde a run. It takes one chance for PSG, and they will capitalize. They will punish me if I do not clear the ball. Come on. Hold him there. Well done. Skriniar. He's still got it here. He could run forward. He has. Has he bitten off more than he can chew? Nope. He's get, given it into Depay. Kessie has unfortunately lost the ball. 
Go on, Son. You've got acres, mate. Son. What a ball. Oh, my days. All my days. And Rafinha... <laughs> Rafinha's just done the sue against PSG, against Messi. That's... That's pretty impressive. I, the, the balls to do that. I mean, I've started him. I've played him. I've given him the, the game time he's deserved, and he's really shown up when it's when it's mattered most. What a beautiful cross from Hillman Son, and Rafinha heads home. It's a beautiful goal from Barca, and it's two nil. Huge for us. Absolutely huge. I mean, twenty minutes left. Oh, Kessie with a great challenge on Nuno Mendes there. Oh, he's evaded the slide challenge. Great play from Kessie as he gives the ball to Robertson. Robertson against Messi. Gets it into Memphis Depay here. I'll hold it up. That's fine. So much space over here for Robertson. Right foot. He's actually scored it. Robertson on the right foot. This guy has been a stupendous signing for us. I think we bought him in January. And he's just been so impactful. He's been so good going forward. So good going back. Um, out of all the signings we've made, I'd say he's the best one. You know, he brought in Skriniar. We brought in Pereira. We brought in Son. And Son's been just terrific for us. But I can't look past Robertson. In terms of impact on the team, he's got to be the best and he has just scored in the Champions League final. 3-0. Get in there. That's got to be the win in the bag. I've just made my final three changes. Fatty, Dembele, and Gavi have just come on in replacement of Son, Rafinha, and De Jong, I believe. So, yeah, giving them boys a run. I told you I'd give um, Dembele some game time today. Ultimately, PSG have just been bad. You know, we've played really well, but PSG have offered nothing going forward today. As I say that, they almost get in, but they've just not been good. Here's Messi on the ball. They're not going to get a chance to do anything. There you go. Final whistle. It's a comfortable, comfortable win in the end. 3-0 against PSG. I mean, I expected a lot more from them. I expected them to at least put up a fight, but no, they, they had absolutely nothing, and... With goals from Lewandowski, Rafinha, and Robertson, we have won the Champions League. A La Liga title, a Champions League title. I'd say that's very, very successful as a, uh, a management delivery from Xavi. And we are going to lift the Champions League title. I mean, it's just a thing of beauty. I don't mind FIFA 23, by the way. FIFA 23, I mean, the whole power shot thing and and highlights, like play high, playable highlights things is, is dumb. But anyway, let's forget about that. FIFA 23 is good. And uh, I'm good at FIFA 23, you know what I'm saying? Because we've, <laughs> we've just won the Champions League. Full credit to the lads. What a great season. Um, yeah, amazing. We've dominated La Liga. And in the end, we've dominated the Champions League. To Stegen, lifting and throwing around the cup. Deservedly so. Unbelievable from the lads. In the end, man of the match went to Andy Robertson. There you go, confirmation of that 3-0 win. Incredible stuff. As I said, Robertson got man of the match. So that goal and his defensive contribution and, you know, just how solid he is at left back, it, it really did pay off. Um, could you have wished for anything better? No. It was it was an absolutely remarkable victory from the boys. Um, a remarkable double completed. Did you always think it was possible? Absolutely. This is a very special team that we have uh, built and managed here at Barcelona. Uh, was that a game you always felt in control of? Absolutely. Um, we deserved our goals today. We deserved the win today. We were just we were just better than them. And they didn't have anything to offer, clearly. Right, so I've just been given £20 million. And the day after, I've been given an email from the Barca board saying that my position at the club is under close observation. <laughs> we, just, we just won the freaking double. I'd assume this is because of youth development and brand exposure, them, you know, them stupid expectations. I think it's probably because of that. But would you rather bring up a couple good prospects for the future or win 
the major double now. I, oh, it doesn't make sense. Alrighty, lads. One final look at our squad before we wrap up this one season career mode, which has been so much fun. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, of course, the captain, the goalkeeper, Mark Andre to Stegen, made the most appearances with 51. And the only other player to reach 50 appearances was actually 34 year old Robert Lewandowski. So fair play. And of course, he was the top scorer in the end. 41 goals, along with 8 assists in 50 games, is incredible. That's absolutely ridiculous. 14 in 13 games in the Champions League, 27 in 37 in La Liga. It is just a thing of beauty. He won the Golden Boot in both of those competitions. What an absolute hero. He is a great, great striker. Finishing is superb. Just an incredible player. Very skillful as well. Hyung Min Son with a 30-20 season. I mean, <laughs> what a signing. I was a bit frustrated with him early on. Um, but then when I figured out really how to use him, he was just different gravy, man. Um, 22 and 17 in La Liga, 8 and 6 in the Champions League, 30 and 23 in 48. That is that is crazy. This guy got, what, 53 goal involvements. That, uh, that is unheard of. Absolutely unheard of. Um... We then moved down to Dembele, who actually, as I said, he, he actually did do very well for us. In 39 games, he got 19 goals and 6 assists, 16 and 5 in La Liga. That's very, very good. But 12 goals and 11 assists in 36 from Rafinha, and he was just better. Okay, in game, he was just better. 8 and 8 in 24 in La Liga, and that was probably 8 and 8 in 14 starts throughout the whole season, if that, and then 3-3 three and three in the Champions League, well, when he got that starting right wing spot, he was just unplayable. So fair play to Rafinha. De Jong, a bit inconsistent, but at the end of the day, 90 rated, the complete midfielder, 8-10 and 10 in La Liga, with 9-13 and 13 in all comps. Pedri is just ridiculous, man. One of my favourite players to use. Um, I would highly recommend using this guy, if you have not yet. 8 goals, and 27 assists. It is absolutely crazy. I couldn't really get going with Ansu Fati, but um, obviously he, he did all right when I played him. Eight goals and nine assists from Depay. He was decent as a backup striker. He was good to throw on. Um, probably my favorite signing we made. Four goals and four assists for Andy Robertson. Defensively, he was an absolute machine as well. But my player of the season, Frank Yannick Kessie. Three goals and seven assists. Yeah, it's cool, but seriously, this guy is such a brick wall. He's, he is just a complete central defensive midfielder. Use Frank Kessie. It's just, I, I don't need to say any more. Nine assists for Ricardo Pereira, along with two goals in all comps. That's very impressive. And then that's sort of when you get to the, the not the lesser players, but the, the lower tier players. You've got Nico Gonzalez, who I actually really enjoyed using to the, the latter stage of the save. Um, Gavi was a really good player to bring on as well. He is an absolute baller. Didn't really get as much game time as he probably could have, but it is what it is. Araujo and Skriniar were the perfect centre-back duo, by the way. They really were. And, of course, Ter Stegen. What a keeper. Thank you very much for watching the Barcelona career mode on FIFA 23. If you can let me know what you want me to do next in FIFA 23 career mode, then let me know. But, yeah, no one's really going to tell me anything. But again, thank you for watching. Please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other episodes. This is the 10th and final episode, of course, so it is coming to an end again. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.